everybody, Colin here from Collins Engage and Woodthorpe Junction. So uh, I've just been uh, doing a bit more to the station building. The roof is done. Just wanted to show, show you it and share it with you. I'm very pleased with it and it's a bit different. So uh, and I've just I've been moving some track and I'm just going to show you that. So it's not a very long video and I hope uh, you enjoy it and um, let me know what you think of the roof. Okay so something I've decided to do is I've just widened the board a little bit down here and I've just put some shape of sheet plaster in because it's a bit you know it's a bit tougher than the uh, hydrocal um, because I want to move that track and that one, what's now going over there, this way to the left as you look at it. Do away with that point. Alter just from about there on this track. Let me point it out. That one. The point there. Just move it back a bit. And just uh, relay those two lines from about here because the station I want to put in goes in on this tarmac area but it's not wide enough because what I want to do is when the station buildings in I want to be able to get down the side here of the building to a three or four level multi-storey car park so there's somewhere for people to park uh, maybe only three but I was I'm impressed with the size I've started to make this uh, station but it's just a bit too tight going the way it is and I want to move it as far this way as I can because the walkway from the station building across to this platform and to this platform what's going to extend down there this is going to have here two escalators going this way and a lift down going down on the other side of the walkway um, the platform on this side is going to have two pairs of escalators one coming this way and one starting and going that way because this platform is going to start from over here and go round so where the evening star is the class 66 so it's so people can come from either that higher platform or this platform and get down either side where this one is just going to come down here and across and there's going to be a lift inside the building to get down to this platform and they can come down on the inside of the building and then out through the doors that's how I'm thinking um, and I'm still going to run this platform around this edge for any small DMUs then to run round the third loop so that's got to go off now. It'll take a bit of time to go off. And then I'll show you the next stage.
Right, the station building's not actually in place, but it's roughly where it's going to go. Now, uh, I've done the roof and I just wanted to show you it. And I've done it quite different. I did say I was going to maybe put some grit on it and you know, to help the water, but I've made it a living roof. Environmentally friendly. And that's it. Uh, there's a, a gutter to catch the water to take it down to this end. I've just put that a bit lower at that end because it flows from being a bit higher. And I've just used different lengths of static grass and colours. That bit up there just looks like a bit of burnt grass and it hasn't just replenished yet. Uh, got the front on now with the entrance. I haven't done the door yet. And that is that side with the walkway. The walkway is going to come from. I can see when I'm pointing from there across to this platform here and up to this platform up there and then this side of the building is just plain brick maybe putting a door in don't know yet um, and I'll put recycling with it being these modern stations now and I've done it in hopefully a way that I can just lift it off excuse the hand just lifts off let's put it on the side I've now put that girder in um, haven't done the floor yet there's a you can see the front we're going to put lights in tomorrow we're going to start by putting maybe three lights across here facing inwards and one into the office down there um, and I put a little face around all the way around and it helps to locate it wasn't going to do one across the front across the front here but I am now so that's again tomorrow and then paint it in so if I just take that out if I can that's how the front of the office comes out the people are st they stay there with the information board behind them. There's a door in that corner so they can get into the back part and then get up the staircase into the main office. And just on the back of this, I have put a shelf, which you can't really see because, there you are. I might be able to see it now if I can get it to stay in focus. there uh, and just done it brown so it's like a polished shell for them to do the work and then pass the ticket through and that goes just back in so that then just locates back on now on this side there's three layers of paper there's two layers of very thin paper and then wrapped round and round and it goes up the roof slightly up, up there very only maybe half an inch and then there's a thicker grade card well paper and then 
that's wrapped round. And on this side, there's only one layer of paper put on. And if I just uh, try and locate that back on there, it's uh, better to look what you're doing than trying to feel it, especially when you've only just done it and you don't know what it looks like. I'll have a little look to make sure I'm in the right place. It looks like it's in the right place. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's it. Back on. So, do the lights tomorrow. And in the office and that. So... Up to now, I've got to make a canopy to go over the sign and then put some lights shining down over that. And then this the platform is going to run a little bit round there, just to make it a bit wider and round on this side. The same. And then the traffic can get past. There'll be a path, but all this has to come up. Because I've changed my mind since I started the layout. And from the outside of the layout, that's what it's going to look like with the platform round and the canopy going across the walkway, and then the canopies coming all the way down the station platforms. But it's not exactly in the, the right place at this moment in time. It's near, but I don't know if it's exact because I haven't set it yet. Well, environmentally friendly. That's different, isn't it? I think that's quite unique in this, uh, as in on a station anyway. Uh, there's plenty of houses with living roofs on. Uh, and also having it curved is extra strong for the weight than a flat roof uh, without having big enough girders in but with it being curved it also takes more you know more weight and I'm very pleased with how it's gone and uh, I'd like to know how what you lot think <coughs> And I ain't going to cut it. <laughs> it's so, it's been done in such a way that the grass doesn't grow very fast. Uh, and men only have to come in once a year and cut it and give it a maintenance. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm quite pleased with how it's going. It's uh, been very interesting indeed. So, Look forward to speaking to you in the next video and I'll see you then. Bye.